Welcome back to the Hightail Podcast. We got a lot of new information, including a new Ask Hightail. We got hints about the release date and talk about creator tools being available before launch. Everything in that in today's episode. Mine, dude, buddy. Hello, Chris. We got we got news. Like today, today we got oh not today actually, but like during the week we got news. I was at work like I normally am, so I missed out yeah, on it. This but is yeah. a big week. This for is high tail news. Is this like the biggest week? Because they they have the word this release and the... beta in the same sentence. Like that's the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. I, definitely in twenty twenty four. This is the biggest week. Um, yeah, last sure. year we obviously got. Um, a blog post so yeah we've had one that of those before would be bigger but in mm. terms of uh you know d- daily content updates this is this is massive um yeah and it's not even in the ask hightail the no. ask hightail is not the big part that's of something else it's a, it's a reply to who was this a reply to uh, just psycho melon person. psycho melon 44 psycho melon 44 let's get it so shout, shout out. out to you shout out um before we get into the the giant discussions i just want to uh, let you guys know that 40 percent of you that are not subscribed we're close to hitting up 1000 subscribers it would mean a lot yeah uh, so if you could scroll down it takes one second hit the subscribe button it hit that like button a lot. Too. hit that like button youtube will push it out more if you hit the like button i think Very that's true that's a fact. Yeah, we're um, 40 subs away, actually. We're at well, 41. We're, we're at, almost uh, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So, yes, um, let's get it. it. Yeah, it's crazy to think about where we mm-hmm. came from. One year progression. We've been doing this a little over a year now. Yeah, um, dude, it's been a good a weekly. year to bit. Talking about Hytale News Weekly. When what can I say? there's no news. When there's nothing to talk about. But this week, we got a lot to talk about. So, let's dude, get right into it. I love news. Let's start off with the Ask Hytale because that's... No, let's start off with the release date, because that one... Alrighty, I was talking although, about the release date. Hell yeah. Hey, that's what people are here for, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, speculation about the release date has been happening a lot <laughs> since the Doesn't dawn of always. time. Since before Hytale was even announced, people were like, okay, but when's the releasing? You know, they yeah. saw the timer on the Hypixel page, and they were like, okay, but when's the release date, realistically? And we got a bit of a hint from Mr. Jonathan Hendricks. And the original tweet was from me uh, on Twitter saying, what is the high to release date? I'm team 2025. Are you in the comments? Because I wanted, I wanted to see what, what the other high tail community mm-hmm. is thinking about. We, I mean, right. we had our thoughts about, you know, maybe summer 25 uh, is the most optimal time for high tail releasing. People think higher, people think lower. And... Jonathan Hendricks has an argument too. And of he does. there was there was one reply from Kuma, which is a fan uh, artist in the community. Yep. John Hendricks and Budicat reading this, knowing they will release Hytale in 2030, and it is the Earth getting blown up. Which might actually happen, who knows? They might actually do that. And yeah. John Hendricks replied saying, Ooh, I see the trick you're trying to play here. You're not going to meme me into a game of higher or lower. Okay, it almost worked because the the tweet said, uh, knowing how to release in 2030. Yeah. Now, that's six years away. And we did trick him into playing higher or lower. Let's get it. By we, I mean me. Because I replied to him saying, are you saying there's a higher option? Why would he respond to a 2030 post saying, higher or lower <laughs> uh, there's a there's a higher it could release in 2022 God, I, what I are don't you talking think that, about? i personally don't believe there's a higher and i'm sure he's just saying that just to mess around um we got confirmation yeah, yeah we, we got, confirmation. got confirmation and is this some of the first official high to release date confirmation in terms of you know an estimate it's because a timeline it says higher than today is definite Higher than Puma? No. Oh, Pau Kuma. I combined the piece. Sorry. Um, so he confirmed it is not releasing past 2030. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, so 2029, uh, December 31st is the release date. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to get 2039. <laughs> that is the confirmed release yeah. date. Thank you guys so much for watching. No. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm still on team 2025. Uh, it's good to know that 
there isn't an option for something. Thank later, God. But I don't think anyone was really thinking that. Well, I mean, besides there's... Hightail too, but we don't. We're not allowed to talk about that yet. So. Uh, I think you just broke NDA. Oh, so damn it. We okay. might have to bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Let's talk about what you wanted to talk about, and that's the Ask High Tool. And yeah, we, this is the least cool news of the week, surprisingly. The, yeah. We've got the Big John Hendricks reply, but we're going to ask go into the official the official news first. And that is from Budacat, mm-hmm. quoting Dravarius, actually. We'll talk on. The question was from Hawk on. Yes. who has been on the Hightail podcast before. Yes, he has. Are the crafting stations themselves tied to progression? Think Terraria or Valheim, where you need to improve your stations to improve your gear. Interesting question. That is a, that's a very good question. And I mean, we've had this discussion previously on the Hightail podcast about the different crafting stations. Yeah. And I don't think we got too in depth about it because we just didn't have any confirmation. It's hard to speculate when there's nothing to go off of. Mm-hmm. We've seen certain crafting stations uh, regarding uh, weapon smithing. Uh, we, we were talking about, you know, is there an inventory crafting grid or mechanism similar to how you might find it in Minecraft uh, that might be just a little more limited? And we got an answer to all of those. Yeah, well, not the go. inventory one, but. Yeah, besides that, besides that. Um, you should certainly expect to get access to more and better crafting stations as you progress further as a player. It's a fun way to unlock more things to do and can give you new challenges to solve for how you want to lay out your home base. Maybe it's a new station that needs a new room. Maybe the old station is simply bigger and needs more space. Maybe that fancy new table needs a wizard tower. What is this, Clash of Clans or something? Um... That's cool, mine. That is so yeah. cool. That is. It is very exciting. Thank you, exciting. Sean Dravarius. Dravarius. I'm not even going to Sapins- try to Sapinski. pronounce it. Sapinski. Principal Design Director. New Hytale uh, image, by the way. Yeah, we did up. get a new Hytale image. Are you showing it on screen? Yeah, it's on screen right now. Okay, it's black yeah, and white. So so it's it's like... a black and white. It is... People are... You know, every single time we see a new profile picture in these Ask Hytales, they're like, oh my god, is this in the new engine? Uh, no. Very likely, Looks like no, the old it's not in the new engine. Um, most of these profile pictures, it's just that we haven't seen them. But yeah. They probably have existed since they joined the team. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, it looks like the old engine, but maybe they look the same. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. So, crafting stations. Wow. Okay. Let's. So you're telling me talk. I can't create a nuke in a three by three crafting station? Dang. You might, yeah. you might be able to. Let, I might be able about, to. Let's go through piece by piece because I feel like every single sentence is something new. And. Mm-hmm. We've said this about every single Ask Hytale before, or almost every single one of them. Yeah. We have known about the information before, and this is just an official confirmation. This is legitimately the first one where there's no argument that can be made. This is new information. This is incredibly fun information to talk about. This is what we want from Ask Hytale. Finally, some new content, you know? It's not just confirmation on something that we 99% already know yeah so, which is so let's let's go piece by piece mm-hmm. first one you get access to more and better crafting stations as you progress further as a player okay so bet let's talk about let's reopen a previous discussion we've had about the the um tools crafting bench maybe mm-hmm. you need a better crafting bench to craft those better tools because we didn't we were talking about it i mean there were all like these weaker tools or almost like the same tools and we were like, okay, wait, how do, how do we craft the better ones then? Right. Different uh, crafting how, bench. How do we? Yeah. Do you need, instead of like, I don't know, maybe there's different types of, I just make a random table here, like a smithing table to make whatever the heck you're going to make with that. Like. Yeah. And to, what if you need uh, like an archery table to craft crossbows and, right. uh, and bows and, you know, other types of I was thinking archery. even for potions um or making what's it called spells or whatever like yeah potions and spells most definitely have a separate uh table and like he said maybe that fancy new table needs a wizard tower likely implying the spell book or the potion uh yeah exact table and the the table has a unique design that might not fit in your current house and you might want to build a completely separate building to 
more encompass the the vibe of it because mm -hmm. you're going for a completely modern house and then you've got like this rustic spell book Doesn't right really and work you, in a modern can, house and it kind of it, that kind of similar to minecraft with the enchantment tables to get a level yeah. 30 enchant you got to have more bookshelves around your little enchantment table yeah and so, usually everyone makes like a cool library or wizard or you know a separate area for that enchanting table it's not exactly. just throwing it beneath your chests or furnaces i mean no. people do that but <laughs> no i like having a little fancy little room there with some carpet you know gotta gotta yeah spaz up the place you know what i mean <laughs> gotta make I it look know, nice spaz up the place is the right What's the word the for word that? Is there. To glam up the place. Um, glam up the place. Bedazzle. Yeah. Bedazzle. Bedazzle. Yeah. Bedazzle. No, let's let's go let's say bedazzle. Let's say bedazzle. <laughs> <laughs> Something yeah. really interesting in this Ask High Tale is about the new sizes that need new space. So your crafting table, well, we're just gonna call it that because we don't have any names. Yeah. yeah your fine. crafting table can get upgraded so you you know unlock more recipes and that just straight up takes more space it is not a one by one anymore it's a one by two now that's and fine we've seen a one by two bench in trailers before right maybe that is the upgraded one maybe that's the default one and the bigger one is a one by three or a two by three god forbid you know that's like a whole table right there you know that like you can have a family of four sitting down at that thing um that's gonna be big which is cool also it does literally say crafting stations not crafting tables so there's no way they're gonna call it a crafting <laughs> table i mean ah, that'd be so funny there's no did. way there's no way I feel it's like, like the most did... iconic minecraft block besides the grass yeah. block yeah so um but they i don't know where i was going with that sentence uh oh um they should have at least like one block that's just one-to-one -one. i think that'd be funny like everything is completely unique and then they just have furnace well they're all that, not we've, we've well seen... obviously furnaces exist in real life so it's not like the biggest issue it's It'd just true. be funny if like the minecraft furnace and the hightail furnace have the exact same use and they're both called furnace you know i mean mine minecraft furnaces and real life furnaces are kind of different like you don't cook in your furnace even though you really you do in high in minecraft so i mean they just call it a furnace this guy would know. i would this know guy i'm in hvac you know like <laughs> <laughs> literally my job so i mean i'm sure I mean, you could cook in there but who the hell would do that <laughs> yeah and, and the high tail one will probably be called like a smelter a smelter yeah or, or a stove cooking or oven. oven yeah a yeah. cooking oven <laughs> a cook, cooking table or something oven, but we've seen haven't yeah. we seen an oven before um in well what's that screen i gotta find the screenshot hang on a second very I very important here it's in a video not remember if we've seen an oven so before on. no you know that the sound dynamic audio demonstration video open with uh, this oh just blew everybody's eardrums out sorry guys uh let's see what I can do. if they open the house here uh, you guys can't see it keep talking mine while i oh okay <laughs> um it looks like Buddha replied, and I didn't see this, um, ah, I found it. to Slamma, saying, I love this answer. Crafting stations can be such good motivations for building plans. Slamma, if you didn't know, a uh, renowned uh, podcast guest in the community. Um, Buddha said, I think most of the building slash designing I do in Terraria starts with the crafting tables. Stone blacksmith shop for the forge and furnaces, wooden medieval building styles for work tables, magical wallpapers, uh, and buildings for imbuing and alchemy, etc. Did you did you find it? Are you alive? Sorry, my mic was muted. Um, I was looking for the video. I did find it, and there is a pot on top of something that looks like an oven. Um, I'm trying. Oh, to... I mean, we've seen pots. I don't. Yeah, but there's something on top of it. it? Under it, it looks oh. like it's glowing in the um, dynamic. Okay, I'll just take a picture of it. If I can. Snipping tools not working properly. <laughs> All right, whatever. You'll see it whenever I get it on the screen. It's being it's being poopy right now. So. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to making a bunch of different houses. Uh, like, I think, what wh what's your what's your first base gonna look like in high tail i don't think we've ever talked about this have we not i mean i've always been a big fan of like carving my own 
base oh, into a mountain you're base. One of those. But there's a but. That there's a but. I have I have a friend in my friend group where every single time we play a Minecraft ser SMP or server, he yeah. finds a hole in a mountain and makes his base in it. it. Like it's cool once, but oh my god, it's people make that their entire personality. <laughs> Build a house. Stop. Hey, calm I down. So, I do do I that. I think it's so. I'm a it's, big mountain it's space cheap, guy. It's boring. It's. I don't know. I I uh, definitely discriminate people who just okay. Make I probably won't houses. do that in high. I'm probably gonna build a normal house in Hightail. Nothing fancy because I have no artistic talent, but just like a normal house. Also, um, on the screen, you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's a pot, some blue stuff sticking out on top of what looks like an oven. Beside it, there's a cutting board with an apple and a knife, and then there's also a fire, which like a campfire in the house too. Um, so that's There's clearly a cutting board with an apple and a knife. Do you think that's that's a block? I think that's got to be a block. You think it's decoration, or you think it's a useful thing? Like you actually have to use a cutting board to make certain recipes. I wonder if you have to like slice up. That could be a tomato too. It like, could be a tomato. What if? Because um, who slices up apples really like that? But what if you need <clears throat> to do like a multiple step process? Like you need to cut your vegetables <laughs> and then put Could you them imagine? in the oven. Make your little then, soup. That's probably what he's making right now. A little stew like, or like something. Like a really advanced kitchen system. That seem. I feel, okay. Hmm. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like if they have a really advanced kitchen system, I'd be wondering where they put their development time into. <laughs> Hey, hey like, people like it, cook. Let them cook. It literally. sounds like a really cool mechanism. Let them cook. But John also said, like, is it a must to release the game? And I feel like a really advanced kitchen, like a like the one I'm describing, like you have to chop your things and then yeah. put it in the, you know, ad advanced advanced. I think I'd be questioning where they put their time into because <laughs> well yes that it um, would be an awesome update but I do not need that for the launch that's in the old engine already so I assume what they have just from that is going to be pretty yeah I know new but and what probably what updated like, a little more that would be decoration hopefully not I mean I want to slice the tomato cool and hide it'd be cool to have but. I don't know. I'm a little torn on that. Like, we'll have to see. John's going to he's going to reply want, on this. I want every feature in the game. I want as many, but I also understand that the game needs to be released. <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, wait, we know before 2030, so that's good. We know before 2030. That's correct. Absolutely. All right. So we have beta release news, technically. Technically, we have beta and launch in the same sentence. Yeah, that's the first time ever. If someone wants to fact check us, no, it was um, it was last week. Um, one of the previous tweets was the first time, so this one's just under oh, the one. So they're saying it twice in two weeks. That's huge. That's I don't know if it was week. last week. I know a previous John tweet talked about beta and launch. Of course, in that's, the of course something that's something John Hendricks would say. So let's read this. This is from Psycho Melon Forty Four. He said, hey, John, could it be possible to release the content creation tools for Hytale before the game launches so a solid foundation of user-generated content can be built up? Which, what... let, let's pause for that. Because yeah. Because this is something that I actually don't know a single creator that hasn't asked for this. And by creator, uh, this is like talking about model maker, modders. Um, well, there's going to be a creator artists, program. Artists, so. all of that, yeah. Um because when the game launches you want to have your your servers core. you want your core ready. modding base to be kind yeah of yeah or cool. like at least understand it so that when the game releases you can hit the ground running absolutely and something like releasing the model maker before the game comes out i know is something that's huge crucial crucial for a lot of a lot of artists and we got some confirmation on that. That is very, very beneficial to any yeah, creator. Here, I'll read what John Hendricks said. And he said, yes, we will be releasing tools ahead of launch. Pause. That's huge. Uh, but it, <laughs> whoa. But expect them to go out in rings. That's This is the first time we ever heard of that. Rings. So instead of, I guess, New basically term. steps. Basically New steps. Term. Yeah, I like rings. Rings are cool. Uh, I like onion rings too. Uh, and it says, in terms of uh, a term we use 
for increasing group sizes. First ring will be a small group with very heavy support than broader groups as our content creation tools mature. Because and then he replied to that saying a simple yeah. overview to the rings is first internal teams and an external small group that gives feedback. Second, an external group plus user testing. That's us. That's third, us. Third is expanded external groups, beta, launch. Similar pattern for all features. And he said, happy to expand more on this when I have the time. So let's hope John Hendricks gets the time, but we know he is a very busy man. He's a very busy so. guy. Very busy guy, except the one time he played Helldivers with us. That was awesome. And he was, was still busy. Amazing. Yeah, because they had a day off because of um, Easter. So, yeah. mine. Let's talk about these rings here. Um, obviously, like, like they said, it's going to go from small to big, really, like the inner ring. Yeah. Who who would be part of this first ring? Besides, so, you know, the actual Hytale team and maybe some Riot um, people that test games, I guess. Yeah. First ring will be a small group with heavy support. Um, meaning internal teams and an external small group that gives feedback. So obviously first ring is internal. That's Riot or Hypixel Studios. Yeah. Um, Which it, makes sense. Right, and they're already doing that. That's the thing. They, they've already been doing internal and external playtests. So I think yeah. they've already passed this ring, right? So the thing is, we don't know if they determine Riot Games as an internal or external, because they could be both, since right. Riot Games is technically not developing Hytale at all. Um, they're they're the publishers uh, funding, you know, helping with ideas and everything. But in terms of development, it is Hypixel Studios. And so the argument could be seen, technically they're under the company and so they're still internal because they see the internal workings, but also they're not developing it, so they could be external. So it's a little difficult to know if Riot Games would be either of these. Um, so I think for, for the sake of conversation, we're just gonna not include Riot in any of these and be like, oh, but this is Riot Games. Yeah. Because um, it, it just makes the conversation too difficult. Uh, so the internal, let's just assume it is the high tail team. Mm -hmm. The high tail team, some testing, maybe people who aren't in, you know, specifically developing it so that they get to test it and not feel like, you know, not know everything. And so literally test it. Um, which, is cool. um, yeah. which means an internal team with an external small group that gives feedback. So Ed, that that's, that's pretty big. Um, mine, I think feel like this would probably go towards maybe modders first um rather than people creating youtube videos or podcasts for the game but so external there's... small group that gives feedback does not mean the public it just Ooh. means an internal teams with external small groups i feel like would just mean uh you have the teams and then you have a separate i think it's all internal i he says external small group that gives feedback, but okay. So it, it could also be um, the public testing that they've done already in December with the right. That's I think combat, personally, actually. I think I personally think that this the first ring that they're doing right now, since they already know it's called rings or whatever. I think it's already set in place and it's already done. Yeah. I think we're probably getting closer maybe to that second ring or maybe the beginning of that second ring, which it says external group. And then it says, I think plus we're already on testing. the second group. So you think internal so? teams and external small, external small groups that give feedbacks does That's not dumb. sound like the public testing that they did because it sounds more like the second one. Um, it, it's difficult because the second one and the third one are kind of similar because they both include external groups. But the th second one says external group plus user testing. And user testing gives me the idea that it's not developers. It is users as in external. I, I don't know. The wording, it's, it's difficult to, like, okay. you know, jump around these different terms. Because we don't have any context right. on what they mean. User testing could mean a lot of things. It could mean players, like... Yeah, like us. how is user it could testing different be us. from just in like external testing? Like, it's like you're not just gonna like is user testing just a random 
like Jonathan you find off the street and then you ask him to play this game and just see what happens. Like, I don't think that's what that would be. But yeah, I think the possible. user testing is is interesting. Um, I yeah, I, I kind of lean to where you are. I think they are either finishing up this phase right now or are in the user testing part of this phase. I think because the the third one is expanded external groups, and I think that broadens it to an NDA because that's right before beta. I think yep, expanded 100%. external groups is an NDA um push out towards the public uh to really test it because that means expanded external um they probably want to test these things before beta absolutely because with, i mean i know the beta a is a beta public, for a reason but which means external group plus testing means controlled environments inside of you know their the facilities that they've had similar to how they talked about they were looking in uh, like it, it felt like they were on the other side of the window and they were looking in type deep. Right. That's kind of what the vibe for external group user testing gives me. And then expert expanded external groups sounds to me like public with NDA. And if they just want to slide one of those NDAs over, I would happily um, externally yeah, test I this mean, game. Here's the thing. Here's, here's our proposal to you guys. Cause you might think we don't have artistic abilities wrong because I compete in the um, yeah you the win that miss art you competition that and I win you know, that every single year. By I was thinking time. I was thinking of joining that next year. I'm gonna be honest. Um, have a little part in it, um, but I know that's your thing, so I don't want to take that away so, from you. Although I have extreme artistic prowess, Chris, on the other hand, and no, no offense to you, might oh, not have let me the tell artistic you. touch I have. Uh, <laughs> I, I could draw a mean stick figure. But I'm just that saying. is that is also a, a group you want to test because, I mean, sure, you're gonna push out to all the model makers. They know how to use everything. Yeah, they, they have talent. We don't. You all, you all. Well, hmm, <laughs> um, you also want people that don't know anything about model making or m modding and and all of that to jump into it and see what newer users uh would you know um please, right which makes sense please. because you're gonna, you're gonna want people who literally don't know jack shit about modding and if they yeah, want to become a modder, they want... You want to see if it's user-friendly or yeah, beginner-friendly. Beginner -friendly. Like, you want people to I'm... use Hytale to learn how to mod pretty much or even if code. i'm not able to create a cool custom model if i can learn how to even retexture blocks or build a, a new sword model by myself by just playing with tools the that'd be awesome. that's a good sign if if we can make a cool sword model it means that pretty much everyone can make a cool sword model exactly and so that's that's my my application towards the external expanded external groups or any nda uh private testing that i mean you need you need some dumb guys to test it too you can't just have the smart people hey we got you i mean if high to high pixel studios john buddha noxy whoever else is watching ski Lido, i you know i have high we got doubts you. that noxy <laughs> watches this <laughs> hey maybe he'll watch this one because the, the thumbnail is going to be noxy colorist <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine um yeah let's move on to the the second to last um option on here Beta, hey, beta. that's realistic for us. I think hey, we we're can... talking about beta. Hey, we yeah. will definitely test it out in the beta. We're gonna test everything out in the beta. Yeah, that's dude. kind of our job. We're gonna go ham. Uh, we might even go live on the Hightail podcast. Probably not, but we might. No, but we're not gonna make promises that we're not gonna keep, except um, we might go live. Yeah, I think we just go live on our own channels. On our own yeah. channels, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll redirect you guys to the High Tail Podcast. Easy, from easy. there. Easy views, easy views. But yeah, my <laughs> beta. Um, this is the second to last. Obviously, after that is launch. Yeah, which is the full launch. I don't know how long and the beta is really going to be. Launch. But like, I don't know. It kind of seems like all these other steps before that are kind of like an alpha really or even a pre yeah, yeah. so i mean we can we can dabble in discussions of how long beta we'll talk about uh or how long beta will go on for because are most games like do they have like a set beta time or what are they normally yeah some games have like a like a set beta time and then they go off they take the servers offline and then go into launch 
Yeah. Um, certain games run the beta into launch, so the beta happens, and then it's like maybe you know a day offline, and then it uh, goes on. And so it really just depends on what the t different companies uh, do, depending on yeah. if they want to. So make it uh, more limited or make it just yeah. like a testing experience to go into live. Yeah, I, I just did a quick Google search asking how long are most video game betas. And uh, this Reddit post from nine years ago, so clearly recent, um, said it can be several days to several months to several years. So thank you. Very helpful Reddit answer. <laughs> um, also another one. This is from Quora. I never use this, uh, this website, but it says between three to six months long. And obviously Hytale has done things a lot differently than most games so yeah it just how, depends on the company and yeah. so the, i think there's something interesting because people like to say talk about you know okay but so when are they going to announce the release date based on when are they going to release it and uh some people are saying like they're going to announce the release date and then it's going to be like a year or two um some people are saying it's going to be like really close and mm -hmm. the I like to think about when Riot Games has I was just published Googling or that. marketed. When was the last and time? The most interesting one is, is Valorant. Valorant I was opinion. I literally Googled how long was the Valorant beta. And which... so the Valorant announcement. Let me go on YouTube. Oh, it was, it's it was a month. Project Project L uh, announcement. That's the name for. Oh no, Project L is not it. Fuck. What was Valorant's code name? Um, Valorant announcement. I forgot what Valorant's code name was. I could not Ooh. tell you because I didn't um, didn't play. What was the code name for Val Project A? Oh, Project A. Apparently, that's what they called it. So if I look at Project A announcement, um, right here, Project A tactical announcement. Mm -hmm. That was October fifteenth, twenty nineteen. It was that long ago? Wow. Uh, and then, did that have a date in it? I think that just announced it. And then, when is... It showed the beta was like a month when I googled it. Beta announcement. <sighs> Damn, I'm not prepared for this discussion because I, I remember I did this research um, like so a year or two I ago. Have... And I had the entire timeline and it made sense. Basically, like they... Oh my god, I just... Uh, flashbang myself yeah i saw that um, <laughs> basically they announced it then they put out the beta um so here i have it pulled up mine they if you rolled, want to look at it it says yeah. the beta the closed beta for the game was launched on april 7th 2020 this is for valorant for a chance to uh, a for a chance to obtain beta access players were uh, doing that stupid drop thing on twitch or whatever and it said this beta ended on may 28th 2020 with the game being fully released on june 2nd 2020 so there was probably like four or five six days in between the beta and the actual yeah it was like a, it was like a week between mm -hmm. and so valorant was one where they they played the beta for like a month or two and then take uh take it off um uh, fix up things for a release and then just launch into release right and, and that still gives you a bunch of time to make content on the game like you can literally say what needs to be fixed while you're encountering yeah. stuff in the beta um I, the interesting thing thing that i wish i had the uh thing for the the uh like exact dates is the times of announcements because okay so right here there's a blog post talking about uh march 30th saying um beta is starting april 7th so that's when they released the Damn, I, I can't do this argument without having enough, um, like, mm -hmm. all the information pulled up. Yeah, I knew great. it made sense that they they announced the release date or something like that, and then within, like, six months. That's basically what the or, like the point I'm trying to get across. Well, I they think announced it's been... the release date, and then within six to eight months, they, they pushed out the entire game. So you think so Hytale think, will do something similar? I think that there's no way they can't... They... Um, they Put the release date for longer than six six months i think i think and, and then right they now. have the beta in between that too so i don't know when we're getting a release date so maybe a one to it three might month beta be later on and so i mean here's the thing 
that all works up perfectly with the idea of a summer 2025 release date because game awards december mm -hmm. perfect time for a trailer <laughs> put a trailer put perfect a trailer time. release date boom the biggest gaming audience everyone's watching it's the final tr one of the final trailers big hype blah 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 imagine it's six summer years after the release date or the re announcement trailer it'd be awesome yeah, it says either beta or release. I don't really care because I get my hands on the game. Yeah, okay, Tw yeah. Summer 2025, boom. Or if it says release 2020, uh, summer 2025, then they put the beta somewhere in, in uh, Q1, end of Q1. Also works. You know what's awesome too? So I was looking at what day December 13th is, which would be the, um, uh, the six-year anniversary. And that's a beautiful, lovely Friday. Perfect day for them to drop a trailer. We say this every year, but I don't know. It's normally yeah, not. A, it's normally not, not a meant Friday. Anything? No, it for, has it. for years it has now. Not. Hey, but a hey, six years after would be would be pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. When is Game Awards 2024? December 12th. No way. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. So this they start on the Thursday. The, this is also the first year that it's this late in december 2021 was december 9th then it was december 8th then de uh last year was december 7th yeah now but hightail's not gonna 12th. be hightail's not gonna be controlling um when the game we've had out. we've had blog posts on december 12th and 13th. Um, yes we have and 13th yeah could be interesting here hang on we could be on to something we could be on to something now we could be or we could not be gigantic grain of salt because uh, th these dates have never meant anything yeah for sure but hey i mean we're, i'm thinking we're getting a beta probably next year or maybe think at about, the end of this year think about so. how poetic it would be for game awards december 12th announce everything it's it's a night so Dude, you, we're gonna do rolling into the december 13th too. you roll into the six year anniversary with the release date and then Dude, the celebration cry. blah 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 oh my god it's actually the, the poetic. thank mystery this year it's would, it's gonna be crazy because it's probably gonna be the 14th which is a saturday not confirmed or anything but just going off recent years it's probably gonna be then dude. so i'm just saying like let us dude. cook let us cook my holy cow i think we gotta end it with that i think so we had a pretty solid podcast today talking about the beta and the launch and cooking and the other thing and john um, cooking yeah and john cooking so, yeah, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the Hightail Podcast. Join our Discord. Link's in the description down below. We got to beat Hightail spins because we hate them. Yeah, see you guys next time. Peace Goodbye. Up.